world champs. O2 team was a high IQ group that understood their role. We spend so much time with youngsters these days doing individuals and Linz talks about it a lot and, and we don't play enough where that's the instinctive stuff comes when you play. They're not looking at me, you know, they can't see I'm throwing the pass. Whereas if they're looking squarely at me, now the chance they're probably going to get them on the back door because they're worrying about me, not worrying about the defender. So it's all eyes. Just another classic case of confusion. I'm not looking at Hiram. Hiram's not even seeing anything yet. He's not looking at his man or the ball. And again, uh, Mitch is sitting off me at the post, so I've just got a free passing lane. So he sees an opportunity and just makes a back cut. First guy just goes hard to the rim. You put pressure on Everard now to make a decision. Is he going to help or is he going to switch? Even if he switches, there's no way he's going to go up high with Marcel and the ball. As soon as he's going to get to, there's no way that defender can get back and see the ball out. And I'm not looking at Donkey, I'm you know, probably looking at the hoop like this, like I'm going to shoot it, but I can see Don the whole time. It's not like, I talk about eyes all the time, eyes can convince people that you're doing something other than what you're actually going to do. If it's an offense we run all the time, you start noticing the trends of defenders. If I make this pass, who's the only person that can help on it? And Houston knows Lindsay well, so he probably thought Lindsay was coming for a handoff, so he was getting ready to shoot that gap. And just the change of pace from Lindsay there, as soon as he got that, I knew he would be in it. If Alonso had helped on that ball fake, then I probably would have hit Dan for a three in the corner. And is he there? And if he's there, I'm not throwing that pass. So, you know, kind of reading off one option to the next. Yep, yep, looking at the corner. I was actually going to throw to the corner of that yep. one. I was looking at Lindsay's man. Going, I'd probably, like, if Lindsay's man had been in a slip, I probably would have just whipped it straight to Lindsay in the corner. But as soon as I saw his head turn, I knew he had him. And again, imports are the best when you're playing with imports, they don't know you because they don't know, they don't know to expect that pass. It's always late it's when the defender thinks, oh, okay, you know, I've got through the initial, I've got it okay. And the other thing is the weak side starts to worry about the other side, so yeah. they tend to go. And I always used to say to Lynn, I'd say to him, just keep looking, keep looking. As soon as the defender turns here late, just throw that real late one and you almost look like you're going away, but you know the pass is coming. I don't want to go up to like the dead space almost. I used to say that a couple of times a game, like, look late, bro, look late. It's I'd also try and throw past people's ears and just whip it past the edge. That's why I took between the legs, behind your heel, behind your ear, you can't get it there. I always throw out the defender's heels because there's no way they can get their hand down to their heels. So a lot of times they'll kick it or a lot of times it won't get there, but if you throw it at their heels, there's no way they're going to be able to intercept it. Most guys can't get their hand down there to, to get it. And look here, he doesn't even know the pass is gone. So I can throw it between his legs as well, which is no way you can defend it. Most guys get down the defensive stance and throw it between your legs is the easiest way to get the ball there because even if they kick it, you're going to get the ball back anyway. Next time just cut hard and we, we talk about that all the time coming down the court and so there's a lot of them are premeditated. One thing, having the luxury of being able to play with Dill for so long, this man, he just he builds confidence in you as a receiver. That, that builds you up like that, you know, it, it gets you, he gets you two or three easy ones every game just by talking to you on a break or whatever and telling you what to do. You look at how low I am inside the three corners, you can't go like that. My angle right now, if Dempster's going to fight through here, 
he's going to have to fight through a flat air screen. So I'm kind of giving him the option to go under, and then as soon as he'd go under, I'll just reverse further the other way. And as I'm popping it to my shooter, I'll just tell him to put a shot right there. Because they're so far off you, if you go to the back door right there and it's cut off, and you come hard off still, he just pops it straight between his legs into the space and you're naked. And all you're wanting to do is shoot so and I'm not a firm believer of the old school, you have to rub shoulder to shoulder. I believe if you're coming at pace, there's no way because that guy's either going to pick up a foul or he's going to get nailed on the screen. And that's what opens up your back door. Like a Ruben now comes to me, two hard steps and Dempster goes to shoot that gap, and now it goes back door. There's no way Dempster as a defender is that agile to go. There's no way he's going to recover from that. If I'm purely looking at Dempster's head, there's no way he can get back to recover on that. And there's no way he's stealing the pass with it right behind his ass chip there. Yeah, that's that one we talked about, just a little clip. The one you used to do, Bill, that's a little bit unorthodox in that situation, is you used to bounce it with your left hand. Yeah, and bounce it back the other way, yeah. yeah. If you're the defender there, there's no way you can do it. And that's the same thing as between the legs, or, you know, that's again watching the defender, how are they, are they getting through. Everyone wants to touch the ball, if I roll in the hoop, I just don't touch the ball. I mean, if you do catch the ball, then you've got to make the right decision. You look at the space on the floor, like once I catch, I'm going to have one of three options. So now for me, I'm just like, which guy's actually going to come? A lot of times it'll be like a pound dribble to see who's coming. Because if I can still pound dribble from there, take two steps and lay it up, what guys do is they catch, the first thing they do is put it on the floor and they're thinking what's coming towards them, not the guy who's coming towards me is the corner guy, so it's an automatic, not even looking, it's an automatic pitch. They try and do like a euro step or something around the next guy and it's too hard. But... If I've done what coaches tell me to do, roll on the rim every time they can defend me, and the appearance is going to have to shoot through. I'm just going to a space where I can catch and now attack with a numbers opportunity. Uh, my mentor's all coming towards me, so there's no way you can get back. And I, and I never pop to shoot, and you pop to just create something else, create maybe numbers. But so when I catch it, my first look is I'm going to score here. Yep. But usually, if there's a guy coming, I'll make the pass as the guy is even thinking about coming. Because all their weight's going one way, and as soon as I catch, they go to go back to their defender, but they, there's no way you can get back. There's no way, even if Shay had stopped and tried to go back to Lindsay, there's no way you would have got there. I would try and murder poor defenders so that if they were good scorers and they were poor defenders, I'd try and murder them to take all their confidence away from the offensive end. And backdooring them is the most humiliating way to, for it to happen. Now the coach is riding and his confidence is down, you know, so he's not going to hit as many shots. As much as I try to build my teammates' confidence, I try to murder other guys' confidence. You put a rookie on me, I'll, I'll try and score every time on him.